Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Grace. Today we are doing another easy, slow cooker meal that makes awesome leftovers. You're welcome, busy mama here. Our weeknights during the fall is just, gets a little crazy. And so I like to do food prep one to two days a week and make meals that will create leftovers to help us get through those busy weeknights. Uh, today we are gonna do honey lime chicken tacos in the crock pot so tasty now i already have a lime chicken taco recipe up um that i did i think last winter sometime this recipe is slightly different it's got a little twist to it um so it's slightly different and i had to share it with you because we love our chicken tacos in our family um and with this today we are going to do cilantro lime rice as a side to go with it i'm actually going to put that in a separate recipe video though um, so be sure to stick around for that one. To get started, I have my chicken breasts in my crock pot. I put in one cup of water. If you want to use chicken broth instead, you totally can. By the way, I will put all of the ingredients and directions in the description below for you. Um, you're going to want fresh limes for this recipe. It just so happens that despite being at three different grocery stores, um, the limes around here... Are extremely small these quite frankly are probably some of the smallest limes I've ever seen however they are ripe they're soft so I think they're juicy um, but I'm going to use fresh limes and bottled lime juice do what you got use what you got on hand but if you can find good fresh limes please do so makes all the difference with lime chicken tacos all right so we are gonna save our fresh cilantro for when the chicken is done, along with our red onion and with some of the fresh lime juice. You wanna add those things in at the end after it's already cooked and you've shredded your meat. However, we are gonna add in some minced garlic. And I like to do about one to two tablespoons or so of mixed garlic, sorry, not mixed, minced garlic. Let me tell you, friends, I feel like uh, it's been a little wacky doodle. We had family visit from out of state about a week ago, and they had brought with them some really delicious coffee that I hadn't heard of before. So I went and ordered some, and I was I ordered two different flavors. And the one flavor, I was really careful to make sure it was not decaf. And it turns out that the other one was decaf, and I didn't know it until literally last night I was uh, filling the coffee pot. Um, that this whole last week I've been drinking decaf coffee. And let me tell you, I noticed a big difference. <laughs> Don't make that mistake. Okay. Anyhow, um, you know what? This is the coffee I'm talking about. Um, Barney's, um, <laughs> you can see I accidentally got decaf, not sponsored you friends. I just, we had never had this before. Um, I don't think you can get it here in the Midwest. Um, so I got it off of Amazon and it's actually really delicious, minus the decaf part. This mama needs her caffeine. Anyhow, so that's why I feel like I'm talking in circles because I had caffeinated coffee today. I'm gonna grab some honey. Now you can use regular honey if that's what you've got. We really have been into hot honey this year and kind of adding it to pretty much everything um, in place of regular honey. And so I am going to drizzle um, about two tablespoons or so and I'm just drizzling it right on top of the chicken and then we're gonna grab our lime juice again I'm gonna save the fresh limes for after the chicken is done and we are gonna do about a fourth cup right into our crock pot here all right I'm gonna grab some salt. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little salt in there. And we are gonna put the lid on and we are gonna cook this chicken all afternoon. I'm actually gonna cook it on low. If you need to cook it on high, you can. Every slow cooker is different. Cook it based off of your slow cooker. Um, mine's gonna take probably about two and a half hours on low. It might be a little less than that and when it is done cooking, we will shred it, let it cool in, well, not cool completely, 
cool down enough that you can shred it. And then we'll add in the rest of our ingredients. All right, welcome back. Our honey lime chicken taco meat is done. I've taken it out of the slow cooker. I have shredded it with two forks and I have taken some of my cilantro, not all of it, because you want to keep some of it and put it on top of your taco. Um, but I've put some of it onto the meat and we are ready for the lime juice, the rest of our lime juice. Now I was making my cilantro lime rice, with jasmine rice um, as our side dish discovered my itty bitty little limes um, are kind of sucky. There's not a whole lot of juice in them, even though I rolled them. Here's a trick, you guys. If you're, anytime you're using citrus and you need the juice, give them a nice roll. Usually that will loosen up the juice for you, but these limes are not that great. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get the best that I can out of them. I think it will be enough flavor if you've got normal, regular sized limes, it really it's only the juice of two limes. Oh yeah, that one was good, see? Sometimes you get surprised by the little guys. Oh, he was very juicy. That actually might be enough. Grab my towel here. Speaking of food, my counter is full. Check out these banana bread bars, you guys, that I made. Yummy, I can't wait to eat those for dessert. Um, so, I have kind of drizzled the lime juice over the top of my chicken meat. And if you're going to eat this right away, just take it right off the plate that you shredded your chicken on. Um, I am actually going to make myself a little taco quick and then I'm going to head out the door. Again, a busy mom chauffeur kind of night. Um, but I love that you can do this in the slow cooker. If you want to, you can put your meat back in the slow cooker, set it back on warm with that lime juice and the cilantro on top. The flavor is incredible. But doing it this way, it also is really easy for my kids just heat up really quick when they are home. So I've got myself a little mini taco shell. Use whatever kind of shells you want to. And I'm just gonna grab, I'm gonna kind of toss this just a little bit. I really like it when you can let that lime juice settle into the chicken. Okay, we're gonna grab a bit here. Spread her out. Use whatever cheese you like to. Um, I'm not going to say it correctly. I can spell it. C-O-J-I-T-A. Cojita cheese, I think possibly is how you say it. It is a great one, but I like to use what we have on hand. And I've got mozzarella. I'm just going to use that. And I've got some diced up red onion. I'm going to sprinkle that on top. If you want to use some sour cream, again, these are tacos. You can do whatever you want with them. Um... I have that hot honey. If you want to go ahead and add another little drizzle, I sure am going to just like so. I'm going to grab a little bit more of that cilantro sprinkler on top. I think that's all I want for my toppings. You could totally add taco sauce if you want to. And there we have our honey lime chicken tacos. You guys, these are delicious. These are one of our go-to weeknight meals. We probably make this at least once every other month. We rotate with regular tacos. We're big into Mexican food in our house. Uh, and these are delicious. Your, your family's going to love them. Your picky eaters are going to love them. Be sure to subscribe, you guys, if you haven't done so already, because I have all sorts of recipes that your family will love. Easy to make at home. Again, follow us on Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. We are there too. We'll see you guys next time.